So why do men avoid bunny boilers? Now, I'm sure it goes the other way around. I'm sure uh, women fall victim to male bunny boilers and I would imagine it'd be the same thing. But um, as the question is about a man, I shall give a man's feedback. So this may help some people who may come across this or who is going through this and may answer some questions that should appear obvious. Now, right. So situation, you have a man who, who's met a lady. As far as he's concerned, he's laid the cards out on the table and he said, look, I mean, it could be, it could be on the first night. It could be three weeks later. It could be three months later. Question comes up. What's going on with us? So he says to her, well, you know, we're just casual. We, we you know, we're not an item. We're just, we're just cruising. He lays the cards on the table even more so and says, you know, I do intend to see other women or I do see other women. And even though he's laid the cards out on the table, as far as he's concerned, he hasn't deceived anyone. Um, it appears that she still hangs around, which is cool by him because as far as he's concerned, we're just casual, we're just having fun. And um, it he gets the impression that she's hoping that he may change because certain things she would say, certain uh, actions she would make regarding um, him being with someone else and think, well, hold on a minute, you, you, I've told you this, I've made this clear to you that I am prepared to see other women. We're just, we're just having fun. We're just casual here. So why are you getting in a strop about the prospect of me meeting someone else or being with someone else? Okay, so straight away, the rag flag comes up, the alarm bell goes off. And so, okay, so to, to his fault, maybe his fault, maybe her fault, either way, he runs with it. So then um, a time comes and he realizes, well, look, you know what? Um, things ain't gonna go anywhere with me and this woman. We, we're casual anyway. And um, to be honest with you, I, I just don't fancy seeing her anymore. Um, I'm not really feeling this. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't, don't fancy driving all the way down to wherever. Uh, I just don't fancy. I just don't fancy it no more. I, I'm, I could do with a change. We've all been there. We've all got bored or something, whatever. Anyway, so the feedback he's had from this woman is she's deluded. Even though he's late, he's numerous times, numerous times, he's had the conversation with her. He's laid the cards out on the table. He's told her, look, you know, th this is as good as it's going to get. It ain't going to get better than this. It is what it is. You know, I'm not going to fall in love with you. She replies with, well, you know, we don't know where things are going to go. And I think, well, hold a minute. Haven't I just told you where I stand with you? I have told you what 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 more do I need to say to you? It ain't going to go any further. Why are you telling me we don't know where things are going to go when I've told you where things are or where things are at? So he realizes this person's they're not completely right. They're not completely right. So he decides to back off him. And the worst thing as well on top of this he never makes a phone. He never calls her. She's doing all the running. She's doing all the chasing. All the chasing. All the time. Not once does he call her. Now that should alert alarm bells in her head. Red flags in her head. In her head. Still, but she ignores this. So, the phone goes. He doesn't answer. He wouldn't answer it. Because he's realised this woman, you can't read. See, common sense would say, well, why don't you sit down and have a chat with this woman? But he's had chats with this woman. He's already had chats with this woman. He's already told this woman where things are at. Any other person, normal thinking person, would think, well, hold on a minute. This guy hasn't called me. He hasn't called me in a week. He hasn't called me in two weeks. This guy is obviously not interested. Well, he fucking will fuck him. I'm not going to fucking call him neither. He could go fuck but unfortunately, you know, this goes for men as well. Some people are willing to hang on to crumbs for the sake of having someone in their life. They'd rather, they'd rather put up with bad behavior, low standards, just to have someone in their life. They'd rather have the wrong person in their life 
because it's better than having no one in their life than chilling out and being alone and waiting to have the right person in their life. Me, I'd rather, I'd rather be alone and um, settle for something good than hang on to crumbs. I'd rather loneliness any day of the week. I'd rather be alone all day long than to be with someone who is wrong or someone I'm not into for the sake of having someone in my life. No freaking way. Whoa, no way, no way, no how, no hell. But I don't want to be, I don't want to make anybody feel bad. So I'm not a complete bastard. I'm not a, I'm not a robot. I do understand feelings are involved and I understand um, if you really feel for someone, it's hard to walk away. So, so please, I do apologize for, um, if I've made you feel bad by laughing a minute ago, cause I've just, I'm just, I've just realized now what I may have done. So I do, if, if I've made you feel bad for my um, previous giggle and belittling, I do apologize for that. That was not my intention. My intention was not to make you feel bad if you are the person in that position. So let me come back to my normal sensible head. I understand if feelings are involved, your court feelings is hard to wake, walk away from the person, but you owe it to yourself not to settle for crumbs, okay? Once again, I repeat myself, I do apologize for the previous um, belittling. I'm sorry, I, I was wrong. I was wrong, I shouldn't have done that, okay? But I hope this is a, has been of help because there's a question that needed to be answered. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, just um, very quickly before I go, um, to get, to emphasize how casual uh, this thing is, what I'm talking about, when I talk about when a guy laid his cards on a table and he's in, and, and they're not an item, they're being casual, he is not bothered about her seeing other guys. So much so that he'd welcome a threesome with her. That is, it's on that sort of level, right? That's the kind of level I'm talking. I'm not talking about where he's bothered about she's seen other guys. And so, no, 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 no. When he, when he, when he plays his cards on the table and it says we're not an item, we're just casual. It, it means it does what it says on a tin. Okay. So, second for the second time, um, um, I, I bid my goodbyes, and um, there we are. There we are.